Welcome to Soldering 101. I'm gonna get some heat shrink out, make sure it's the right size. Then I like to add all my bits to my wires before I start soldering. Wires are pre-tinned from Hobby Wing. Just gonna cut my heat shrink to size. And voila. As you can see on the ESC side, that takes the female connector, I'm using XT60s. I like to plug in the male end there to help dissipate some heat while soldering. Here it's very important not to mess up the polarities. So um, you wanna make sure the red wire matches up with where it goes on your batteries. Make sure you put all your pieces on your wires first so you don't have to go undoing all that beautiful soldering. So I'm not the best at this, so what I like to do is use some flux. Just to cram it in the parts that are getting joined and it's gonna help the solder get in there and stick properly. Tin your soldering iron. <coughs> so all I'm doing here is heating up one of the leads until it's hot enough to accept the solder. I had to try not to fill it up too much because it'll drip down onto the other one. There you go, should be shiny. Perfect. Retin. Second connector. This one's sort of easy because it's a cup on one side whereas the next part was a little trickier. There, don't look too closely, but everything's well soldered in. Now just put on your bits. Yeah, I'm clever. I'm using my soldering iron to shrink my heat shrink. Works really well. So this motor and ESC combo from Hobby Wing that I'm going to solder up is all new to me. So here we go. Using some plasticine to hold the motor down. What is this? Oh. Uh, I'm guessing that's where it goes. Should go right in here. I'm gonna fill it with flux. These connectors on the motor are U-shaped, unlike the ones on the battery connectors. So be careful not to put too much solder in there so it doesn't drip out the bottom and make a big pointy mess. You can file it down if you're brave. So after doing the top side, I like to just check the underneath, since it's a U-shape, fill any voids with solder. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Not the cleanest, but it is shiny, and it's all filled in. Continue for the other wires. Make sure they go in the color coded position. Just using my trusty chopstick to apply some flux to the end of this lead. And I would call that done. Done and beauty. No major lumps. 
Now just go ahead and slide on your heat shrink. And that's soldering done. Looks pretty good. 